art class with Miss Justice. Today I'm going to be showing you just one of the fun ways that you can turn markers into paint. It's super easy, so let's get started. So to complete this project, you're going to need quite a few materials for today. You're going to need white paper, a pencil if you like to start with pencil, a Sharpie permanent marker, some kind of black crayon, some washable markers, a bowl of water or a spray bottle, and a sponge. You're also going to need some foil, um, and if you are using a spray bottle, then you don't need the bowl of water or the sponge. You can just use the spray bottle of water. So we're going to go ahead and start with our white paper, and you can put all of your other supplies off to the side. And we're going to start with that pencil, and on your paper you can draw anything that you want, any picture. Um, it's totally up to you. And then you're going to go ahead and trace the picture with the Sharpie or the black crayon. Anything that's not washable. I went ahead and I already drew just a really quick little rocket ship drawing. Um, super simple, and I just drew it with my Sharpie. Once you've got your drawing ready, then you're ready to get started with your markers. You're going to take your washable markers and you're going to color your foil. And you want to make sure that you cover the whole space where your paper will be. You can use any colors, any color scheme, and it really doesn't matter if you color inside the lines or in a scribbly way. You can really color the paper however you want, as messy as you want. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up so that we can get through this coloring portion. All right, once you've got your foil colored, you're gonna to wanna to take your paper and kind of lay it on the marker and make sure that you've colored everywhere that the paper is going to be. And I can see that I've missed a spot up here in the corner. So I wanna go ahead and grab a marker and fill in that space where I know my paper is going to be. Once your foil is totally colored and ready to go, you can set that off to the side. And we're going to go ahead and get our white paper that has our drawing on it and either your water and sponge or your spray bottle, whatever you're using to add water to your paper. I'm going to use my sponge. You want to um, soak your sponge in the water, but I'm going to wring it out so I don't have too much water on my sponge. I just want my paper to be nice and wet, but not totally soaked and dripping. You shouldn't see any puddles of water on your paper. If you're using a spray bottle, you can give it a very light spray with the water. Again, we don't want any puddles. We just want a really nice light coating of water on our paper. Make sure to go all the way to the edge. Even if a little bit gets on the table, that's okay. Everywhere that you put the water is where your, your paint will be. If you don't want an area to be painted, then you should not put water on that area. When you're done with the water, you can go ahead and set that off to the side. And we're going to take our wet paper and our foil. And I want to line up my paper face down, water side down, onto the marker, lined up with the part that I colored. And now we got to give it a nice rub on the back. And you want to rub all the way to the edges, all over the page, making sure to press down evenly. When your paper is ready, you can peel it up, and your marker should have turned into paint when it touched the water. I hope you enjoyed our marker painting today. Um, feel free to make these at home. You can make as many as you like. You can make small ones in your sketchbook, big ones on big sheets of paper. Um, the only thing you need to remember is to get super creative and have